Greetings, beautiful, beautiful soul. This practice for the new moon. So starting off in a seated position, I am sitting on a bolster. I'm sitting in Ardhasid Asana. So bringing my left heel to my groin, right foot in front of that. You can have cushions or bolsters underneath your knees. The most important thing is that your spine is nice and long so that you can breathe with ease. You're just gonna rest your hands, palms upwards on your thighs in a gesture of receptivity. And we're gonna check in, I'm gonna begin with a little chant. It's a chant for the moon, to bring us back into connection with the moon. And the chant is Om Shri Chandraya Namaha. Now you can just listen and you can just absorb it or you can join in. Remember, chanting isn't about singing or you know how good we are at singing. It's about the vibrations and the intentions. You know, we are made up of 80% water and sound affects us on a cellular level. And so I used to be really self-conscious about chanting and things like that. And oh my God, I sound like a strangled cat, blah, 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 blah. But it's really not about, it's not about what you sound like, it literally is the vibration that moves through your body. So just soften your eye gaze with your eyes closed. Focus on your chin point, your lunar point. And just simply notice how you feel this moment in time with no judgment, no criticism, no wishing anything were different. Just simple curiosity just being here this moment in time and maybe noticing how you feel energetically and notice what word pops into your mind when you ask yourself that question or it's not about being logical it's about communicating with your body your mind your essence noticing how you feel physically so any areas of tension any areas of tightness Anywhere that feels a little bit vulnerable. We always want to honour where we're at today. And noticing how you're feeling emotionally. Me personally, I've been feeling quite irritable recently, you know, for whatever reason, whether it was going on in the ether, I've been feeling quite irritable and short tempered and that kind of thing. And that's okay. Just acknowledge that without making yourself feel wrong. Just soften your face and then you're about to smile, to relax your whole face. And so you can join in with me with the chant or you can just listen and allow the sound to penetrate every cell of your being. Om Shri Chandraya Oh, 
as wide as you can. Ah, start to close the mouth. Oh, then bring the lips together. Mm. And once more, when you're doing that, on feel the vibrations from your solar plexus to your heart to the tip of your nose. facing you. As you breathe in, bring the hands up, right up to the crown of your head, open the arms out, hold for a second on the end of the in-breath, and exhaling as you bring the hands down the center line, all the way down to your tailbone. And as you're doing that, as you breathe in, visualize white light energy like moonlight rising up from your tailbone up through your body, up and out of the crown of your head, spouting out like a, a whale spurting water, holding for a second on the end of the in-breath. As you breathe out, imagine that white light energy flowing down through the crown of your head, down through your body, all the way down to your tailbone. So visualizing that white light energy starting up at your tailbone, moving up through your sacral, up through your solar plexus, up through your heart, through your throat, through your brow center, up and out to the crown of your head. Visualize that energy flowing out of the crown of your head. As you breathe out, visualize that white light energy flowing down through your crown, down through your brow center, through your throat, through your heart, solar plexus, sacral, down to your root. And see if you can really slow that breath down, visualizing that energy flowing up and out on the in breath, flowing down on the out breath. You might start to feel warmth tingling in your hands as you feel that energy. Spine nice and tall so that the energy can flow, visualizing that white light, like moonlight. You can visualize, you know, when you see a full moon and she's shining her brightest, pure, brilliant white light, visualize that light flowing up through your energy centers, up and out of the crown of the head on the in breath on the out breath, flowing back down through your crown, all the way down to your roots. And releasing, releasing your hands, release your legs, and ease yourself gently into a hanging forward bend. So having the feet under the hips, and you can bend your knees, you can gently swing the arms side to side, you can soften the knees, whatever comes instinctively to you right now. And soften the knees deeply, have an image of your spine and your mind's eye, and literally start to stack the vertebrae one on top of the other. So starting with your tailbone, your pelvis, your lower back, your mid back, your upper back, your shoulders, your neck, your head, floating up last. Feet kind of around about hip width, but don't have to be too particular. Softening the knees, bringing the hands 
just in front of the heart, fingers spread out as you breathe in, open the arms out, as you breathe out, bring the hands back in. So the hands follow the movement of energy and of the breath. So as you breathe in, your ribs expand, your chest expands, your lungs expand, feeling that sense of fullness. As you breathe out, feeling that sense of softness. And actually imagine like a little mini pulse, so your knees kind of soften a little bit on the exhale, but without force. So energy moves in and out and it flows up and down. So feel that sense of expansion. Imagine literally filling the skin that you're in. So as you inhale, imagine literally breathing to the tips of your fingers and toes. Feeling that sense of openness, of lightness. As you breathe out, feel that sense of being grounded, being centered. So breathing in and out through the nose, it almost becomes like a moving meditation. And I feel that your lungs expand even more with each in-breath. You're feeling your belly, you're feeling your back ribs, feel your shoulder blades move apart slightly on that in-breath. Feel your whole ribcage expand like a basket. And you're breathing right to the tips of your toes with the oxygen as your body's Fuel. So you're breathing right to the tips of your fingers and toes, feeling that sense of expansion, that sense of really, you know, fullness, fullness, and that sense of release. Keeping the knees soft, just start to circle out your wrists. So keeping your body nice and relaxed. And think of the moon is associated with water. So very fluid, expressive, creative. So there's no kind of rights or wrongs. Circle the wrist around the other way. So we can also imagine one of those like Hollywood, not Hollywood, Bollywood dancers. Very elegant, very expressive, creative. Warming up into those wrists, think of spiraling. That kind of a free style movement. Again, no sharp edges, no kind of like, oh, it must be done this way. Then think of loosening up all the joints in your arms, in your elbows, in your wrists, in your shoulders. You think of like a little wave-like motion from the tips of one hand to the other. Visualizing you floating in the ocean. So feeling that sense of expansion and grounding as you're breathing. And then bringing the hands together, rotating. And just let it flow as if there's no hard and fast rules. Imagine like that sign of infinity, just spiraling, letting the body go. Because our body knows what it needs. It knows how to move. It's just we get in our own way. We get self-conscious. It's like, oh, I don't know how to do it. And imagine drawing a circle with one arm freeing up your shoulder, keeping the rest of the body relaxed and going around the other way. You're going to free up your whole body. Don't try and tense the rest of the body. Keep it nice and free. Then change direction. Circle the arm. Free up the ribs. Free up the shoulders. Going back the other way and opening up the whole body. And you find some movement in your rib cage. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, round. It's like a tap flex. The spine is really 
fluid and a lot more movement in it than we realize. But say we spend so much time in one position, kind of spend a lot of time sitting, etc. It's not really good for us. And imagine drawing a circle with your ribs. Again, to start with, it might feel a bit rigid and you know uncomfortable. It's like, oh, I don't know how to do it. But just relax into it, go around the other way. You can breathe out through the mouth if you wish. Inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. And circling the hips around. I was going to imagine like synchronized swimmers or something like that. You know, floating in the ocean. Get that image, that sense of gracefulness. Fluidity. Going around the other way intuitive so instead of thinking oh i'm going to do this and i'm going to do this i'm going to do that listening to your body and knowing intuitively what it needs so you're trying to do a little figure eight as if you're doing a circle over one foot a circle over the other foot and have a sense of playfulness a sense of yeah, it doesn't matter if it doesn't go right. Change direction. But there's no kind of rights or wrong. It's just a matter of exploring, seeing what happens. Then circling out the knees, loosening up into your hips. Make the circle as big as you can. You can always go a little bit slower if you need to. Do one leg at a time and exploring your mobility. You might need to touch down as I just did, or you might try and see if you can do it without touching the floor. Again, have fun with it. Then see if you can take that foot behind and imagine bringing your elbow to the opposite knee. Inhale, come up, spin around, and exhale, take the elbow woo, to the other knee. Then inhaling up, exhale, rotate. Woo. <laughs> See, it doesn't always work. Take an elbow to the knee, inhaling up, turning around, and exhaling, elbow to knee. Then coming up and releasing and flowing a little bit the other side. And that's the thing is being able to laugh at yourself when something doesn't quite go the way you hope it would. Taking the other knee out and around again, exploring mobility in your hips, having that sense of freedom and fun. So you take that foot behind and imagine taking the elbow to the opposite knee. Coming up, spinning yourself around. Woo! Taking the elbow to the other knee. Inhaling up, exhaling, twizzle around. Taking the elbow to the knee, bracing your abs. Inhaling up and exhaling around and coming up coming back releasing just shaking the legs out shaking out the arms and legs and nice deep breaths so it's about realizing how good our body is designed to feel and how good we are designed to feel in our body we're going to finish off with a round of classic uh, Chandra Namaskar. So we start off with the feet, big toes together, palms together at the heart, elbows nice and wide, so we're at the front of the mat. So it's a variation of the traditional sun salutation. So take a nice full deep breath in, and breathe all the way out. On your next in breath, reach the palms up. And then you can either stay here, palms are up towards the sky. You can either stay here looking forward, you can lift your chin, or you can lift through your heart, make it a little mini back bend. 
relax the shoulders. You're going to exhale, firm up your belly. Come forward, bring your fingertips beside your toes. Breathe all the air out. Keeping your fingertips beside your toes. Step the right foot back. Now for this variation, you drop the back knee. The front knee is way over the ankle. So in this variation, the front knee is way over the ankle. Your back knee is on the floor. The back toes are touching. And this is called equestrian pose. Sinking the hips down. Now from here, you lift the arms up. You can either bring hands shoulder width apart or you can bring the palms together so you're making a crescent position focusing on your brow center breathing in as you breathe out bring your hands down through your heart space then to the floor i'm going to come into down face dog so you're going to take the hips back press your hips nice and high press your chest towards your thighs you come onto your knees, lift your butt. You're gonna bring your chin and chest between your hands. So you're resting on your chin, elbow tucked in, looking at the tip of your nose. Now stay here. You wanna imagine seven points in contact with the floor. Your chin, your chest, sorry, eight points. Your chin, your chest, your hands, your knees, and your toes. So your hands are down beside you. Your chest is resting on the floor. You're sticking the bottom out. And you're looking at the tip of the nose, allowing your chest to melt towards the floor. Breathe all the way out. Untuck the toes, slide the knees back a little bit. Draw your heart through, come into a little carry breath. Elbows tucked in, shoulders relaxed, lengthen right through to the toes. Then come up. As I come up, I bring my knees in a little bit. Sit back, ready for down face dog. Elbows tucked in. Lift hips nice and high, down face dog. Right foot's gonna come forward. Maybe you can help it through, you can carry it through, step it through, drop the back knee. Again, in this variation, the front knee is way over the ankle. So pull that heel towards you, squeeze your butt, feel the stretch in your thigh, all the way up to your brow center, looking forward, inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders, then inhale, lift the arms up, lift the eye gaze if you can. And exhaling, bring the hands down through heart to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, push off that front foot and step forward, look down to your toes, contract your belly, focus on your sacral area. Bend your knees slightly, inhale, reach the arms forward and up, palms up to the sky, maybe your option, so here, here, or here. Remember if you're making it to a back bend, back bend you're about stretching the front of the body, not leaning back. And exhale, hands to your heart, close your eyes, take another full breath, so breathing all the way in. All the way out. If you can, you can try doing it with your eyes closed. Inhaling, arms up, palms up. Relax the back of your heart. And exhaling, folding forward, breathing all the air out. Fingertips beside your toes, focus on your sacral. Left foot steps back, dropping the back knee to the floor. Pull that front heel towards you. Squeeze your tush, then inhaling, lifting the arms up into that crescent shape. Lift your chin if you can, focus your eyes or focus your attention on your brow, really pulling that front heel towards you so it is a little bit more uh, less stable than uh, a low lunge position. Then exhaling, bring the hands down through the heart and all the way to the floor. Then stepping back into your down face dog. Maybe you can still adjust your hands and feet when you get here. Press into the whole hand. Then bring your knees to the floor. Lift your bum first. Then bring your chin and chest to the mat, looking towards the tip of your nose. Relax your shoulders. Hug your ribs with your elbows. So I always imagine you make it kind of like a, a roller coaster. Ooh, up and down, you kind of 
right it's great for your back untuck the toes inhale slide the knees back draw the heart through slightly press your pubic bone down to the floor and you can adjust your hands if need be and imagine your legs like an extension of your spine and lift through your belly push up draw the knees in if you can press back into your down face dog and we'll step the left foot forward help it if you need to drop the back knee and draw your heart forward and lift the arms up into Ardha Chandrasana and exhaling bring the hands all the way down keep exhaling as you step that foot in inhale reaching forward and up open through your heart melt the shoulders away from the ears exhaling hands to prayer and close your eyes take another full round of breath feeling the body feeling the heart rate which might have speeded up a little bit Here, coming down onto the mat into a short uh, shavasana. So legs, just take the legs wider than hip width. Shake the legs out, let the feet drop out to the side. Have your arms, palms upwards, and move the arms away from your body. Yeah, literally just shake the legs out, shake them out a couple of times. Let the feet drop out, shake the arms out a little bit. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And just kind of like rock the body a couple of times if you were like on a waterbed or something and imagine literally loosening up all your inner organs as well so all your inner intestines stomach liver kidneys just like you would any other muscle and then closing your eyes and simply noticing how you feel. My teaching very, very much nowadays has changed a lot, but my teaching very much nowadays is how you feel, how you feel in the poses, how you feel after. It's not about perfecting a pose, it's not about how well you can do a pose, it's about how you feel in it, finding a way to express that pose that suits you at that moment in time even more so noticing how you feel afterwards that is what we're aiming for that how we feel afterwards that getting in touch with our true essence which is energy and that when we develop that ability to just experience ourselves as energy when it's like we can kind of forget even if just for a few seconds we forget we have a nobody you know, sometimes when I'm deep in meditation, there are moments when I, I'm not aware of my body. I'm just literally aware of energy. It's like I'm light as air. I'm not aware of my legs or my arms or whatever. I'm just aware. And it's like I'm just literally little bits of energy floating around. And that is what we're aiming for. And you may, when we get caught up in, oh, I'm no good at this pose and I can't do that and I rubbish at this, we miss all that. And as I say to my students, it's the intention. So even if you struggled, even if you had to take a break, even if you couldn't do things great, you know, it didn't look anywhere near as mine, it's the intention that is the most important thing. The fact that you're getting on the mat, so you're therefore setting that intention just by getting on the mat and just even visualizing the essence of the poses, of the exercises. And I can feel the energy circulating around my body. And you may notice that as warmth. You may notice it as a tingling sensation. You may notice it as a sensation that you can't put into words. And that's okay. And this is why I get you to check in before at the beginning of class so that you can notice. Because some changes are quite subtle. Some are very, very obvious. But some of them are quite subtle and I want you to notice those subtle changes and the obvious ones. So noticing how it feels being in your body right now and enjoying because this is what it's about. It's about 
teaching you how good it can feel being in your body. So instead of feeling resentful, instead of feeling self-conscious, like for me, feeling self-conscious about being skinny and stuff like that, when I'm on the mat, I'm not thinking about that. When I'm focusing on how good it feels, I'm not worrying about things like that. And that is what I'm about, getting you to know how good you can feel in your own body and getting you to trust that your body is insanely intelligent and it knows, you know, what it needs. And you can stay here a while longer if you choose. You can stay here as long as you choose. If and when you are ready, start to move slowly, almost as if you're going, moving through water. Kind of languidly, I like that word, languidly, like a cat, kind of like, Oh yes, I think I might, I might just get up. Or well, there again, I might not, oh, who knows? <laughs> so have that kind of, that kind of, oh, lazy Sunday, there's nowhere I need to be. I might just deign to get up. Oh, I might just stay here a little while longer. <laughs> so feel your way into it. Don't second guess yourself don't question it just literally find your way and know that you can do this practice a hundred times and it will be different a hundred times and that is okay and when you do bring yourself back to sitting bring your hands to your heart heart to your hands and we're going to go back to that om shri chandraya namaha okay you can just listen or you can join in it's great for your lungs as well if you're going to join in or even if you're just listening close your eyes notice how it feels in your body om shri chandraya Enjoy the rest of your day. Mwah.